Welcome to the Pacific Crest Trail. You are joining me at mile 1,564 out of 2,650 of my southbound PCT through hike. In the last episode, I finished the Northern California section and made it to the start of the Sierra section where I took two rest days in South Lake Tahoe. In this episode, episode 13, you will join me as I start the official Sierra section of the PCT and start hiking through the Sierra Nevada mountains. Over the next six days, I hike 147 miles up and over mountain passes, past breathtaking alpine lakes, and even get close to some waterfalls. If you're new here, my name is Krista and I'm a long distance hiker. And if you're not new here, hi and welcome back. morning it's the official start of the sierra section i just got dropped off at the trailhead like 200 feet ago <laughs> you can still see the road behind me but uh, my dad dropped me off so now here i go start of the sierra i have more stuff so i had a hard time fitting my can in my pack but that's okay once i eat some food i'll be able to fit it in i'm right outside of south lake tahoe right now so i'll be close to the city for a little bit i think and then getting into the mountains Yay, I'm so excited. And it's so beautiful out here. Because I was entering the higher and less predictable mountains, I was carrying extra safety gear with me. I had an ice axe, micro spikes, extra clothing layers, and extra food with me in case the weather took a turn. I was also closely monitoring the weather and planned to not start a section if there was snow in the forecast. Fortunately for me, the forecast was looking good for the next two weeks at this point. Windy. scariest wind yet. I, at one point back there at the saddle, I thought there was a chance I could get blown right off. Very powerful wind. Good morning. I had a really good sleep last night. Only woke up once at like 3 a.m. to go pee. So that's good. Um, I managed to tuck myself into a sheltered spot even though it was such a windy day yesterday. As we know, it's really hard to sleep when this is like all night. <laughs> so today it looks like I have a big day, um, lots of climbing, heading up into the Alpine and then I'll be in the Alpine for most of the day. And then I'm hoping to drop down a little camp in a valley. It's like 24 to 26 miles away, but it's light now. So I'm going to get going. Woo! Absolutely stunning area. I'm feeling a little bit lethargic. I'm not used to my heavier pack yet, but overall I'm feeling pretty good. I've seen a few Nobos finishing up their Sierras, so that's cool. Um, I haven't seen or come across any Sobos, um, but hopefully I will at some point here. These rocks are so nice. <laughs> Just had a nice lunch break. I chatted with a Nobo, so that was nice to have a little company. And I'm on my second big push of the day. Loving this terrain. So cool, all the different colors of, of rock and dirt and stuff. So neat. Very cold, very windy. Okay, I'm in my tent now, so the last mile or two, I didn't film anything, but I went up over a saddle and dropped down. And then I set up camp really quick because like it was dusk and I still had a little bit of light, so I wanted to set up in the light. I got everything inside my tent, got changed. I was just redoing my braids and it started to rain. I'm glad I'm inside. I did meet a lot of Nobos finishing up their Sierras, so that was kind of cool. They haven't needed any ice axe or uh, micro spikes at all. That's a good sign. Really nice knowing that my parents are gonna be meeting up with me for my next two resupplies. So at least I know I'm gonna see people I know, but I would love to be hiking with someone. This stretch in particular, it just feels like that much more gnarly. So I'll see you in the morning. Good morning. I had a really good sleep, like nine hours, pretty much completely solid. So I've woken up, I've done all of my outdoor chores, had my coffee, had my breakfast, 
Went to the washroom, all that good stuff. <laughs> I don't even need this on anymore. <laughs> it's light enough out. Now I just gotta get going, but I'm having a hard time motivating myself because it was rainy and really windy all night. It sounds like it's calmed down, so I think it should be better. And I've got to get the miles done today. I have 23.5 miles to do today. I've been getting weather updates from my husband and he told me it's going to be less windy today and I think no chance of rain or anything. So that's really good. Here's my beautiful camp spot. Ended up being a great spot. Felt a little bit creepy last night, but it was fine. Okay, I got myself going at 8 a.m. It's a very cold day out here, <laughs> um, but it's sunny, so it should warm up. feeling overwhelmed by the beauty right now. <laughs> Emotional. <laughs> These mountains are incredible. <laughs> the hiking's hard and it's cold, but <sighs> there's always a payoff <laughs> on this trail. I just saw the first people I've seen all day. I've been going since, well, it's 4 p.m. Started at eight. <laughs> so I can't believe I haven't seen anyone yet. It's probably the longest I've ever gone on the PCT not seeing people. They were lovely. Um, no bows. 200 miles left in their journey. I'm climbing up a river valley now. It's my big climb of the day, over 2,000 feet. I can see where I'm going. Up to a saddle, I think and then I'll just camp on the other side. I think I might be approaching the saddle here, but this is the first time I've seen fresh snow. So where I was last night, it was raining, but up here it was snowing. Very light dusting. I love climbing up into the Alpine. <laughs> I always just start feeling better. I don't know, it's just, I think it's where my soul feels the most at home. <laughs> Here's the saddle. <laughs> so those mountains are where I'm going next, I think. Good morning. It's about 10 a.m. actually, so it's been a few hours since I got up at five. Five hours to be exact. But it was way too cold for me to film. I had to keep my batteries warm right here. So I woke up, everything was frosty. I hiked about 0.7 miles. Well, exactly 0.7 miles to Sonora Pass and my parents met me there and they had my resupply for me. So I was with them for about an hour from seven till eight. Um, took me about half an hour, 45 minutes to organize everything. And then I sat in the truck with the heated seat for 15 minutes and it was absolutely glorious. And it was really hard to leave. We talked about this section. I have five days worth of food and they can drive to me to meet me at Yosemite if they want and that would be exactly three days of hiking so today tomorrow and then the next day I'd be there so I think they're probably going to meet me there because I said I'm honestly just feeling I think less and less like I have less and less of a tolerance for being out here for extended periods completely alone I think it's just sort of like catching up with me all this time alone especially in this more difficult more cold more windy terrain so hopefully i see them then but if not i do have five days worth of food and i'll see them at mammoth lakes and yeah it's just an absolutely spectacular spot i did climb right up into these mountains um i've done my biggest climb of the day i'll have up and down for sure today but my biggest climb's done i got up to eleven thousand feet which is wild but i was feeling good like my breathing and everything was feeling good so that's great so i'm gonna press on but i just thought 
I absolutely have to capture this with the camera. I will regret it if I don't. <laughs> Look at these mountains and lakes. What a place. Oh, my spirits have lifted. <laughs> Things were tough for a few, few hours there, but this is unbelievably spectacular. My favorite time of day to hike. It's probably like 5.30 or 6. The sun's almost set in the mountains here. I'm so in awe of this place. And I was just looking around realizing it is so special to be here in fall. morning. I think it's going to be a common theme now that I can't film for a couple hours. It's 9.30 now. I've done six miles already. I'm going to try to get maybe 11 or 12 miles done before noon is my goal so I can get to camp a bit sooner today. Looking at it, my plan, I think I will make it to Yosemite Valley um, when I thought I was going to, so that's good. Last night was cold, it was frost, everything was frosty when I woke up. Even like my condensation from my breath turned into frost on the tent. So I think every night's gonna be kind of difficult now. <laughs> This is one of the most peaceful lunch spots I've had on the whole PCT. The stream is just so calm. All the water levels are really low now, which makes me feel very optimistic. I've got, I think, four, maybe five river fords I have to do that are marked as like ones you need to time properly and everything. So seeing that these streams that people have reported they had to ford and it was like, knee deep earlier in the season it's like literally this deep today i'm gonna eat as much food as i can get a bunch of calories in and then head out i'm trying not to take too long of breaks today so better get eating wow Feel the power here, the mountain. Oh wow, such a special place. <laughs> I can't believe there's still flowers blooming. It's October 12th and there's still flowers blooming. It's amazing.
What a beautiful place to wake up. So the sun is about to rise, so I've got to get going. My pack is completely packed up, so I'm ready to go. It's probably 10 to 7. 26 miles to do today. And my parents are meeting me at Tuolomi Meadows, which is in Yosemite, where the main road crosses, or the PCT crosses the main road. So I'm really hoping I can get to them today. It's been hard for me to get 25 miles done in a day, but I'm up, I'm ready, I've done all my things, so I'm hoping I can do it. <laughs> My goal is to try to maintain a good pace today, but I've got a lot of ascent, 4,000 feet and about 4,000 descent. So that's a lot of vertical change in a day. So I'm just gonna see what I can do. Okay, I've climbed my first big pass of the day, and it feels right now like I might have just crested my second. I think my body's getting more used to having the heavier pack, like with more gear. So I think I'm gonna make it, hopefully. I am really loving the fall colors. They're so beautiful. <laughs> I was just cruising along and I got a very pleasant surprise when I saw my parents walking towards me. So they walked out. I think I met them like 2.5 miles or so, 2.8 miles from the car. They're just ahead of me, I'm just catching up with them. It is so nice to not be alone. <laughs> My parents drove me back to their campsite in Mammoth Lakes, cooked me a big dinner, and I was able to have a hot shower. It was exactly what I felt I needed. Thank you so much for watching this episode. In the next episode, episode 14, I start the John Muir Trail, finish hiking the Yosemite Valley, and climb up into some of the most stunning alpine I have ever seen. I can't wait to see you then.